This landmark study conducted in nine countries could change the way HIV patients are treated around the world. Giving drugs to patients early lowered the spread of infection by more than 95 percent. Treating individuals who are HIV infected sooner rather than later has a major impact on not having those individuals infect their uninfected sexual partners. Over 1,700 mostly heterosexual couples with one HIV-infected partner were divided into two groups. In one, treatment was delayed until there was evidence of a weakened immune system. 27 partners became infected. In the other, treatment was immediate, and only one partner got HIV. Patients receiving a drug cocktail right away were 96 percent less likely to infect their partners. The trial was cut short because the data are so overwhelmingly positive. Like all HIV-positive patients, everyone in the study was told to practice safe sex. Even so, patients still infected their partners if they did not receive the drug cocktail. My prediction will be that now that we know that treatment will also be effective in prevention, what we're going to see is that much of the world will seek to start people earlier. An important note, once the study was stopped, all HIV-infected people were offered immediate treatment with the drug cocktail. Katie? And so did these drugs benefit the patients themselves, John, in addition to stopping the spread? They did. And Katie, when you think about how far we have come in the last 30 years, I was an intern in 1981 when the AIDS epidemic hit New York City. Every one of my patients who had HIV AIDS died, every single one of them. We didn't know what caused it. We didn't know how to treat it. And of course, my patients were saying, how can I help prevent infection in my loved ones? And I would say, well, safe sex makes sense, but I really don't know. Now we have this dramatically effective treatment. It's really a big deal. And are there enough, uh, enough of these drugs or this medication to treat patients all around the world because there's so many. Right. Not really. I spoke to the lead author and he said that's going to be a big problem trying to get the resources. And then there's another problem. There are a million people who have HIV in the United States. 21 percent of them have no idea that they're HIV positive. So we have to figure out how to get them diagnosed earlier so we can treat them, which is going to be good for them, and also treat them, which is going to be good for their loved ones. All right. Not to mention all the impoverished people who are suffering from this. John LaPoof, John, thanks so much.